Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Relocate with Nat. I hope you guys are having a great day. It is so beautiful and sunny today, but I'm a little bit sad because we have had a we've had a wonderful crowd here at Villa Marabella for the snowbird season, and Donna has been one of them. Thank you for being Yay. here. Oh, thank you. So, for me. so Donna <laughs> is from Newfoundland, yes. Canada. Yeah. And you know, one of the reasons I wanted to do this with you was because you are part of that demographic that has kind of a new chapter in their lives. Mm -hmm. You retired. Yes. I retired last June. And you decided, I am not sticking around. There's too much to see. How did you fall on the DR, the Dominican Republic, as a destination? Yep. So, uh, November of last year, I did a cruise with a friend of mine. And, of course, we got to experience some nice warm weather. <laughs> and uh, middle of December, I went back home, and the weather was just starting to get hot, uh, cold. And I'm like, you know, I can't really do this again now for the next three, four, five months in Newfoundland. Yeah. So I started out, I did a little bit of research on like where to go and I came up with a, a, a friend popped in on my, uh, on my blog thing I was doing and yeah. she said, uh, well, I have a spot lined up in the DR and if you're interested, I know the property manager. And from there I just... Who's that? That would be Jason. I oh guess. yeah, Jason. That, yeah, okay, sorry, point. sorry. But who's the friend? Yeah, uh, Charlene. Oh yeah, so that's, that's right. How, that's right. That's how. And so I, I got in contact with Jason and uh, talked about you know pricing and if anything was available. And he said, "Yep." Yeah, and yep. did a little tour for me and very friendly guy. Um, you know, uh, I had a little bit of reservation. It is a different con. It's yeah. third world country. I've been here many times. Do you feel like it's third world? No, or? I no. don't. No, no. I've changed, my my views on it has changed. Yeah. Um, the perception is that it is third world, but once you get here and you see yes what is available and what is, it's really hard yes. to ca you know classify it as that. Yeah, really, because everything is available, whatever you need, uh, you know. And and my views on what I need has changed. Oh, I love so it. So I've I've grown as a person in 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 that. I've started to realize. So what, what has that, changed? Well, you know, you you always think about retirement and you need this big fancy bungalow with mm, uh, you yeah. know uh, everything pristine, and you really don't because because you've been staying in a studio, a, a studio apartment <laughs> with with you know all the amenities that I need. Yeah, and I've done fine. I've done fine. Amazing, isn't it? Um, and it goes show you you're resilient. How resilient you And resourceful, are. too. And resourceful. Because you stayed here for three months without a car. Yeah. So you did all, you did the full Dominican experience, I is have. what I like to say. Yeah. You used the guagua. I have. I have been here three years and not used the guagua. Yeah. Not once. I certainly <laughs> have no reservations about using the guagua. Yeah. Uh, and uh, life is really good here. It's it's warm, um, like you know, when we live in Newfoundland and much of Canada as well, the sunlight is non existent for me in the winter time. I mean you have been working on your tan for the last couple of days. And and that's what you're down here for. You're not down here to live indoors. Yeah. You're down here to live outside. So, you yeah. know, you come down here for the beach, for yeah. the sunshine. And everything else just plays in. It was the best decision I've made. What was it this winter? The best Canadian winter for me that I've ever had because that's awesome. I always did all inclusives. Yeah. And you know, you get a little snippet. You're lucky to get two weeks, but in those two weeks, it's not guaranteed sunny every day. So if you, you know, and, you... and this is what um, the point I always try and get to is that people think that relocating is like a full-time thing you have to do it forever no and it's not it's that you are choosing to live somewhere else for a period of time and it could be a short term and I'm really trying to demystify that because I think folks are holding themselves back they're wondering what it's like to do this and they think it's a forever thing and it's not we chose no. forever for now um, but I don't think that everybody's choosing forever because folks here have stayed here for three four or five months so it, it really depends on your situation and what you want. Yeah. So like, what, I mean, I'm looking forward to going back uh, yeah. to, you know, I have a cottage that I love, that I spend, will be spending most of my time now that I'm retired. 
Uh, and when the weather starts getting cold again in Canada, I will look forward to I'm not coming back here. I'm not saying that the DR would be my always my place yeah. to come back to. I may visit other countries, and yeah. uh, you know the thing is to don't be afraid. Mm. Don't talk, you know we we are our own worst enemy, and, we are. and people say that all the time. And of course. You, you, you know, you you got to press on and you got to go through it and uh, just be resilient. Just yeah. do it. Do it. Don't listen to that person who, who tells you how negative. Why are you going there? Yeah, but why not? That's the question you have to say. Why and not? Why not? Absolutely. So what were your highlights since you've been here? What are the things that for you were like, oh, really? This yeah. is great. Yep. Yeah. So the first day, well, the first highlight was getting off the plane and feeling <laughs> the, the beautiful, warm yeah. air. And the second probably highlight was Jason picking me up at the airport and being so, uh, you know, accommodating, yeah. so patient. Yeah. And, and when I got here and I saw my unit and I was so surprised, I'm like, wow this is i can actually do this yeah then i met the group of the community here at uh, at mayor bellas and i mean everybody welcomed me uh we are all unique individuals yeah for sure and uh everybody is so thought so so um for sure. thoughtful and helpful and community living for me is a big one here it's probably the highlight that i enjoy the most just not just for myself but for our, our daughter for ourselves you know even this morning i said to my husband we ran out of coffee and he's like oh we'll just order some i'm like somebody must have coffee here like we can yes. we can you know pull that out but what were the things though that um you were like really like it's the other really really is this going on right now like i don't want to say the negative but those things that shocked you maybe a little bit of you know, it's not a third world country, but things are done differently here in some yes. ways. And of course, I've got the experience of going into the local community, yeah. which is just next next door. Yeah. And uh, I did see things that, you know, uh, <laughs> that would shock you. But I also did see the smiles on everybody's faces. And I didn't feel threatened and I didn't feel scared. And these people work really hard and are very proud of what they have. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so that was probably one of the things that I wasn't expecting because when you come here on an all-inclusive resort, truly and honestly, you do not experience Dominican Republic. No, because they shuttle you from the from the airport to the complex, and and you're you're confined. You don't see anything else shocked you in here, like things that. Um, you know, uh, the only other thing would be that people are really happy all the time and, uh, <laughs> and the music is playing at any time. It could yeah. be eight o'clock in the morning. It could be 11 o'clock in the night. Yeah. Uh, that kind of, you know, in Canada, we're like, oh, shh, and we have to turn it down at 11. Yeah. Uh, here, you know, the rules are very relaxed. Uh, you just have to be mindful of yeah. your surroundings and stuff yeah. and uh, you know and live just live every day like well, enjoy it yeah because that's what they really I feel like the Dominican people they live for for the moment yes right they're not really thinking about tomorrow tomorrow or next right. week um, we are sort of it's ingrained in us as North Americans to like this whole idea of planning all the time yes. So you have to work, you have gentle to balance, yeah. gentle balance yeah. when you come down here. What would be your top tips for anybody who's watching this and thinking, oh, I want to, Donna's my person, like she's inspiring me. <laughs> what is your top thing? Like what um, is it that you would recommend that they do? If you're thinking about it and like most Canadians always dream about having, like we love our summers and we enjoy them, but you can have summer for less than three or four months a year. You can add a few more months yeah. to it and just do it don't you know there is going to be things that you don't like but you have to be resilient and resourceful and just accept it as it is it, it rains in dominican i've noticed that since i've come here 
Uh, and but it's warm know, rain. But it's warm rain. Yeah. And maybe later on that afternoon, the weather may change. It may <laughs> and it may not. But uh, still, you know, just take it at face value. It is what it is. Enjoy the moment. And you'll get back to your Canadian life with your Canadian standards and yeah, and all that. So, you know, Tim, do it. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just go ahead. Don't be afraid. So if yeah. you are looking to relocate and you're not sure what that can look like for you, you can click on the link in the description. Book a call with me. Let's see if we are a good fit and I can help you make that happen. Um, make sure you like and share this video and whatever you choose to do. I hope you have an incredible day and we'll see you soon in the next episode. Thanks, Miss Donna. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Go do it.